Hi, JC here again for RetireCheap.Asia. The video I'm about to do today might be the most important video I do in my whole series. Why is that? Well, I created RetireCheap.Asia to show everybody that they have options. That when things come down to the nuts and bolts and you look at your check and you say, oh my gosh, I'm not sure if I can live off this. I want you to know you have options. But is the option of moving abroad for everybody? Is it something that everybody can do? Well, the answer to that in my respect is, yeah, it's something everybody can do. But would you be happy doing it? Would it be your heaven or your hell? And that's the question I want to address today. Okay? Because this isn't for everybody. Now, many, many people are living abroad and really happy doing it. And yet I know other people that move abroad and they're miserable. Now, why would that be? Well, the reason that is, is because no event in your life has any meaning except the meaning you decide to give it. And what do I mean by that? Well, we have a set core of values that drive us every day of our life. Those values are feelings that are most important for us to feel on a daily basis or moment to moment. Those feelings decide where you work, what kind of job you have, who you spend time with, where you live. All these things are determined by these values. So how can you figure out what your values are to know whether or not coming and living in another country is right for you? Well, ask yourself this question. What's most important to you about life? Let me say it again. What's most important to you about life? Now, I'm not talking about material things because you only want the material things to feel these feelings that are highly valued. So I want you to stop the video just for a second, pause it, and think about this question, what's most important to you about life? And I want you to come up with a very small list about the feelings that you want to feel that are most important. Example, maybe you want to feel secure. Maybe you want to feel comfortable. Maybe you want to feel loved. Maybe you want to feel a sense of excitement all the time or adventure. Whatever they are for you, write them down. And then ask yourself, what's most important? If I couldn't, if I had to choose between A and B, which one would I choose? Would I choose A or would I choose B? Okay, because we need to know what is most important in your life. So pause the video and come back in just a second, okay? Well, I hope you pause the video <laughs> because this is really important for you to make this decision. It's a big decision moving to another country and living. Okay, so the answer to your question was what? What was most important to you about life? Now, how we use this is, I want you to go through the videos and imagine yourself living in this country or any other country you choose to live in and ask yourself on a daily basis, knowing what that culture is like, and that's what I'm helping you with about the videos, would I feel these feelings? Because if you'll feel the feelings that you want most important in your life, then you're going to be happy. If you're not going to feel those feelings, or you feel the antithesis of those feelings, well, if you want certainty and you're going to feel always uncertain, well, then you're going to be unhappy. If you want a sense of adventure, well, it's a sense of adventure because everything's different all the time compared to what you had back home. So if excitement, adventure, these things are really important to you, you're going to be happy. Now, you might have said security. Now, what is your definition of security? If then, if I know I can pay my bills every month, I'll feel secure. If that's your evidence procedure for security, you'll feel secure over here. If knowing what everybody's saying all around you at every, any given moment and you don't understand the language, well then you wouldn't feel secure. So you need to also know with these values or these feelings, how, what has to happen for you to feel them? Because that also comes into play. So. If this is getting a little complicated, well, <laughs> you can make a personal phone consultation and I can actually straighten this out and we can talk about it and we can uh, go through some of these things and narrow it down to whether or not this is the right move for you. But I wanted to address this today because a lot of people are asking me about, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm thinking about it, you know, I'm not sure if it's the right thing for me. Well, you're the only one that can make that decision if it's the right thing for you. And this is going to be based on putting yourself in this situation now instead of getting here. Another thing you can do, is make it simpler, don't burn your bridges. If you have a house, rent the house. If you have a job, take a leave of absence. 
Okay, whatever you need to do. And come over for a couple months. Now, don't come over for a week. You need to come over here and live for a while because living here is a lot different than vacationing. Vacationing is a party. Every day you got money to spend, you know? So I want you to come over, figure out what your budget would be, and you go to our budget calculator on the website, uh, retirecheap.asia, and figure out what it is that you'd have to spend every day. And then say, okay, what can I do? <clears throat> now, that's what the website's for, to show that you can go out and drive golf balls, or you can go to the movies, or you can eat, or whatever. But sit yourself over here for a month and say, okay, this is going to be my life. Would I be happy? But the answer to that's going to be, are these values, highly valued states, going to be fulfilled? So that's the answer. Is it your heaven or is it your hell? It's up to you to decide. But remember, there's always an option.